Hey guys, this is Ari Kopel. I'm here again uh, to talk to you a little bit more about empowerment. Uh, and, you know, what does it look like uh, when we have to step into our power and our authority? Um, some of the things that, uh, that prevent us from being able to do that, of course, would be uh, not feeling well uh, because we are um, compromised. Our health is compromised and... Uh, we we just don't even know how to correct what we have. We don't even know what our issues are. Um, and then every day something some new issue comes up. You know, every day something else comes up, and we just can't uh, keep on top of this. Uh, we believe we're doing everything right. Uh, we take all our stuff, our supplements, our tinctures, our whatever it is that you guys are doing, and still somehow. Uh, you are not feeling well. Uh, every day there's another issue. Okay. Um, so I don't know, uh, exactly what each one of you is doing or not doing. Um, but I strongly suggest that you do find a way to get to the crux of the problem. And I know some of you are really, really diligently finding out, you know, what, what, what is work what works what doesn't work you you're, you're going to this site you're going to the other site you're reading this book and that book and listening to lectures and everything and you still can't quite uh understand what's going on with you all but i do suggest though that uh you look at your nutrition very very carefully uh because i believe truly 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 that it's the thing that is at the bottom of all of these illnesses and uh, not feeling well okay um, so if you're not eating correctly if you are having a little binge here and there of something that really is probably irritating you um, you might want to curb that a little bit okay I'm just saying um, there one of the things that I know for a fact that will not sit well okay is anything that's refined anything okay preservatives of any kind so if you're eating deli meats you know pickled this and pickled that you know you're you're creating an acidic situation for yourself that is really not good um anything that's white flour is going to hurt you guys um if sugar is going to hurt you Another issue that you might be having that you don't even know you have, you might be experiencing candida. You might have symptoms of uh, things, illnesses and whatnot that are really just exacerbated by candida situation. And the candida, of course, will is fed by the flowers and the cookies and the breads and whatever, whatever, flour, pastas, you know, anything like that, you're feeding it, okay? white sugar it's deadly guys uh, white sugar is really really bad it's one of the highest addicting things there are out there on this planet um, and they put it on everything on sauces on on your uh, Chinese food if you like Chinese food they put it on everything so and again why because they they know that it's addicting and so they're gonna put it in part of the ingredients so that you can be addicted to that food or to that restaurant chain or to whatever Okay, it's all commerce. They don't care about you at all. It's all about lining people's pockets. And if you are not sharp enough to understand that, you are going to be suffering. Okay, and then whatever you came to do on in this planet to help out doing X, Y, Z, whatever it is that you're good at, whatever you're passionate about, forget about it. It's not going to happen. It's going to die right there because. Um, you know, you won't have the, the drive, you won't have the passion, you won't be clear in your head uh, because you have you have brain fog. And another thing that causes all these illnesses too and all these symptoms is parasites, okay? As much as I hate talking about them and I hate, I really don't like them, okay? Um, but having some kind of protocol where you are getting rid of these parasites that is really important. Uh, parasites, guys, are pretty much, to me, they're like little tiny miniature agents for the dark forces. Why? Because anything having to do with uh, putrefaction, anything having to do with decay, um, 
is is not exactly of higher frequency you know that's just common sense common spiritual sense spirituality 101 you can't get any more basic than that and these things are living in your gut or they're living in your body some of these and these um these parasites sometimes are infesting a person's entire body including their brain so how can a person function like this how can a person even connect to source creator like this it's impossible guys and on top of that these things are not only are feeding off of you they're eating your nutrition so that you're not getting the right nutrition so that your cells are reproducing correctly so that your organs are functioning properly okay so that you have the drive okay and the energy to do project from from a to z it, it's it's again compromising us continuously this is the world we live in they they live in this world we live in this world too and because we are biological organisms they're going to find us so we need to get rid of them and then we need to stop feeding them sugars and flowers will make them thrive so we've got the candida problem and we've got the parasitic problem and we've got to get rid of both okay so you being in control of what you put in your mouth and what you have your cells take in as a nutrition that is your responsibility okay it isn't anyone else's responsibility this is for you it's your conscious choice to do this no one's going to do this for you okay and the other thing i wanted to mention to you is too that if you're coming to me for counseling um whether it's spiritual counseling personal counseling health counseling whatever counseling and i'm giving you advice and believe me if i'm giving you the advice it's not because i'm just making this thing up on the fly it's because i have experience in that um and i have the uh, ability to to speak from from knowledge and from truth so if you're not taking that to heart and you're not even trying but you call me again uh, for another session and then you don't do it again i think that what happens is that you're expecting another person to do that for you like me and i certainly as much as i can and i would love to i wouldn't be of service to you if i were to do for you what you should be doing for yourself okay so part of your growth whether it's going to be spiritually or even just how to how to function here on on this planet whatever that may be is not going to happen unless you have the intention for it to happen for yourself which is a good thing because if you have the intention that might be the reason you reached out to me to begin with but if your intention is to have me be your crutch then that is not a good intention the intention has to be that you're empowering yourself so that that intention of you being empowered has to be there then there has to be the desire for you to actually get there for you to actually experience success in doing this and then number three is you have to take action okay in doing what is being suggested to you um, which includes right now taking action with respect to your health uh, finding out what protocols will work for you i would suggest you go to dr robert morse's um uh, youtube channel look him up he's got great great information this guy is extremely connected uh with source creator and he knows his stuff and i if i was going to recommend uh, anyone with respect to protocols and supplements i would definitely recommend him uh, so check check out his information um, and do your own research. Um, go to Whole30, W-H-O-L-E, the number 30.com. It'll give you whole foods that you can do uh, or out, actually eat. Uh, it's a pro protocol for 30 days, uh, which, it, you know, again, it's eliminating all the sauces, eliminating all this garbage food and you're getting down to the basics and what that's going to do for you is that you're going to start detoxifying getting rid of all these critters hopefully you have to do a protocol to get rid of the critters because they are uh, polluting your body because they are defecating in your body guys and it's going into your bloodstream it's going into creating brain fog and all kinds of toxins and if on top of that you're not drinking enough water to, to wash that out you are it's worse than being radioactive at this point that's how toxic you are okay so there's no way 
that you can perform right at work, at the home, or even connect to Creator. It's just impossible. So if you guys want to tackle this, you need to be on top of it. If you want to be able to, to be uh, a, a proactive and uh, be in service to humanity in this particular realm, then this is the first thing that has to happen. You need to get serious about your health. You need to start uh, taking in the right nutrition. You need to eliminate those things that are creating toxins in your body. You need to eliminate those things that are making you acidic. And I strongly suggest that you start with a protocol immediately. Uh, go into Dr. Um, Robert uh, Morse's uh, 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 website. Go into Whole30. Take a look at those foods that you should not eat. Definitely flour is out. Sugar is out. Uh, grains are out. Uh, including rice and all kinds of things. Uh, corn is out. These are all things that are, uh, that, that are basically creating toxic, uh, not just the toxic levels, but, uh, they're cre creating irritation in your body. So a lot of inflammation. And, um, and then don't, please don't feed, uh, the candida or the parasites. Get rid of them. And once you start this protocol, especially hydration, a lot of water, uh, the water should be at least, um, in terms of ounces, it should be half your body weight in ounces for water, uh, minimum, okay? And you need to start flushing that out. Uh, I strongly suggest you do that, guys. And then you, when you start feeling better, you're going to be able to see, um, you know, personally, I've done this and uh, I feel 100% better. I feel better now than I did 30 years ago. So uh, that's how important this is because then you become clear. And when you become clear, then you start getting a lot of information from, uh, from, from source. Okay. Directly from source where now you're really discerning what's going on and what's not going on. What, what information is right? What information is not right? You'll know because you know, from the right connection, you've got the right connection. Um, it's not somebody else telling you now, now you're clear. You don't need an interpreter. You don't need a guru. Okay. But that doesn't happen until you are clear and until your health is shining, until you're vibrant, until your cells are functioning at its, at, at their highest level. Okay. So that now everything is in sync and you're able to do now what you came here to do. And Otherwise, you can't be in service, and then you just wasted an incarnation, guys. And so that's my message for you today. If you need to get a hold of me, please, you could reach me at ari at shatteringthematrix.com. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, you can also visit my website at aricopal.com. Uh, that is my author website. Um, and um, anything that, that you have in terms of questions or anything like that, just, you know, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm very approachable and I do respond. Um, and then if you want to know a little bit more about um, dark forces and how we're kept here and how they, you know, deceive us and everything, then pick up a copy of my book. It's Spiritual Warfare and the Art of Deception. You can find it at Amazon. It's been a uh, number one bestseller and the number one uh, new release. Um, and the other book, of course, is My Experiences and that's Getting Back to Source. You can also find that uh, in Amazon, also number one bestseller. So thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you take this challenge on. Uh, I am challenging you and hopefully I will hear from you that you've been very successful. All right. Well, you have a great evening. Bye-bye.